Good morning and welcome to a home vlog. Vlog. Home vlog. <laughs> oh yeah, we're the home vlog. Good times. Yeah. Huge breaking news right now. There's so much information coming out about Disney. What? At the moment. What happened? So we've got uh, so a few key dates for you. Starting on June 22nd, which is Monday, mm -hmm. people with existing reservations at a Disney hotel can start making their reservations to visit parks. Oh. And then starting June 26th, annual pass holders can start making their reservations to visit the parks. And then June 28th, anybody else that has already purchased a ticket, like they're not selling new tickets. Yeah, yeah. Anybody that's already purchased a ticket can start making reservations to visit the park. And then on June 28th, that's when they're going to start selling new res new hotel reservations. Did you just burp in the middle of our breaking news? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> June 28th, they're going to start selling new hotel reservations for 2021. Wow. So that means that if you're planning on coming, to, I believe, like if I'm interpreting this correctly. Right. If you don't have a hotel reservation right now, you can't come to Walt Disney World until 2021. Unless you are stay off site or are an annual pass holder, right? But you can't make a reservation at a hotel, so you can't stay on site. Oh, I see what you're saying, but I think that like Airbnbs and stuff are still open. Yeah, and then later this summer, based on availability, sales of 2020 tickets and Disney Resort hotel arrivals will resume. So that means that if you had already made a reservation and you canceled it or like postponed it, right? Later this summer, you'll be able to reschedule it. Okay. So, uh, also, no more park hopping. Ever? Cancel. For right now, at least. <laughs> I mean, I kind of figured that would be the case because I thought that would be, uh, if they're, I just figured it would, it would be too much of a variable for the um, reservation system. Right. Like, and for how many people they're letting into the parks and like, I just figured it wasn't going to be a thing. Also, 2021, no more free magic bands with your hotel. Why? I don't know, they are moving to advanced functionality of the My Disney Experience app, which I'm assuming means that they're going to activate the like Bluetooth near field functionality of the phone and maybe the watch. So maybe you can keep your ticket on your watch and use it to tap at the Magic Band place. Hmm. Or you can use your phone to open your door to your hotel. I just figured Magic Bands were such a big money maker for them that they wouldn't want to get rid of them. And I don't know that they're getting rid of Magic Bands. They're okay. getting rid of free ones. They're still going to offer them to buy. Okay. For like, if you want to use a Magic Band instead of a key, they're going yeah. back to the key to the world. Oh, are they? Yeah, you remember that when you had a key to get in your room? Yeah, because that's when you go on a cruise. Your, yeah. key, your, your key is the key to the world. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, lots of breaking news. Wow. It's, it's interesting. And then they also... They, they canceled Mickey's Not So Scary. Oh yeah, that was the other thing. They canceled Mickey's Not So Scary for yeah, 2020. That was the last night that they canceled that. And I was really, And all H2O glow nights. Yeah. I just, and that I get because that was kind of like a dance party. So you don't want to have crowds gathered around characters. Also, it was a character meet and greet type thing too. So you can't have, you have to keep the characters socially distant. And right. you, you can't have a dance party because people are going to be congregated in a smaller space to be like dancing with the characters. Man, that's really, that's sad. Yeah. I understand why they're doing it. It makes sense. I'm glad that they're doing it, but it's also like, dang, you know? Yeah. Uh, there was also like a ton of other experiences that are not going to be available. No more VIP tours. Mm -hmm. No more of like the backstage magic, like the, the behind the scenes tour that we did. Not available. That was a really good tour too. Yeah. Uh, no more dessert parties. Which makes sense because there's no more fireworks. Right. And and also that's a small space again. So right. you can't you can't be socially distant during one of those parties. That's really No more early morning magic? I really think that so there were people that were saying like Disney is literally saying to you, don't come to the parks. Right. And I think that that's very true. Like Disney is saying like, hey, like we're here, but like don't come. Yeah, and I think that this is a period that Disney's like, okay. We are the Florida's biggest employer. Mm -hmm. We should probably, like, we should get people back to work. Right. We should make some money, but we just kind of want to float through until it's safe. Another interesting fact about Disney, too, is that they have sort of rebranded Food and Wine Festival. Yeah. They're opening it on opening day of Epcot, July 15th. Which, I mean, I understand why they did it, because they already had their booths up from, from Flower and Garden, and rather right. than take it down, they're like, We'll just give you an extra month of food and wine. 
And speaking of Flower and Garden, they are incorporating some stuff from Flower and Garden there. Some of the topiaries are still gonna be right. up. They're still gonna be selling the merch from Flower and Garden. So they can sell the merch. They're just right. like, well, we still got this merch here. <laughs> Don't forget about this merch. Right. Well, so I was talking with a friend of mine and we were talking about how, like we told you guys, we ordered a pizza the other day. Yeah. And well, he... we, we told, I think we told you guys in the live show. In case you guys didn't know, we do a live show twice a week. One of the live shows, we just kind of like hang out and chat with you guys and talk about stuff we did that week and like different theme park news and just different questions you guys have for us. And then the other one, we have been opening up your viewer mail. And so if you don't watch the live shows, you may not know some of the stuff we're talking about where we reference a lot of stuff from the live shows. So, um, but anyway, in the last live show, we talked about how we ordered food for the first time. We ordered a pizza. And the whole reason that I was talking with my friend is he's like, oh, there's been no cases of the coronavirus, COVID-19, being transmitted through food or takeout. So aside from all that, uh, we're gonna do home vloggy stuff today. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know we haven't been doing as many home vlogs this past week, but I think we're gonna get back into doing more home vlogs than we were doing last week. I don't know if we're gonna be doing all seven day a week home vlogs, but we're gonna be doing more than we were. Right. So I'm excited. I miss the home vlogs. I know I said this last time, but I miss like, talking to you guys yeah. so yeah you guys want to see some updates around the house his name is jackson and he is sleeping i know you guys love a nice tomato update when do tomatoes start to turn red like when are these ready to harvest seems like they've been green and growing for a very long time i know it's kind of kind of crazy looking plant too i feel like it's this tomato plant has started to fall over because the tomatoes are so heavy and there's a whole new sprout growing up over here also, you guys were wondering what our next Lego project was gonna be. A friend of ours sent us this. It's the Legoland exclusive Legoland Lego. As another side note, this minifigure holds the baby the exact way that I hold Jackson. Another plant update, our basil plant did not die after we cut all the leaves off of it. It's still kicking, doing A-OK. -okay. Also, this other tomato plant that was outside is really starting to grow. There were two of them and one of them died and I think that our Venus flytraps died, but this one is new growth on it. Is that smiley buddy awake? Hey buddy, what are you doing? Yeah, still waking up a little bit? Look at your bed hair. You're my cute baby. Do you love your piano? Oh, <laughs> and a ghost just started playing it. <laughs> no, it's a haunted piano. Whoa. Whoa. Throw the piano, throw that haunted piano out. You're so strong. What's your favorite song? What? It's each one plays a different one. No, I know, but I was touching the tiger and it was making the frog noise. Oh, that's weird. Rawr. Rawr. Oh, look at his face. He's so like... Oh, you did it. You played this song. Look at you. You did so good. That's a caterpillar. Did you notice that? That this is his head and this is his body. You have a book that you love about a caterpillar that's hungry all the time. Yeah. Actually, the last video that we, the one where you were reading him a book. Yeah. Um, everybody was saying it's like some books that we should get. And a lot of you guys were mentioning books that you already have and you already love. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So I think he has a pretty good like library so far. I think so. Yeah. But we order him new books like every single week. So I feel like we're just going to have like a bajillion books. Yeah. Like there's a new book right next to you right there. Oh yeah, so our friend actually sent us the Everything is Mama and the Everything is Dada book from Jimmy Fallon. And um, they're really cute. Yeah. It's like all the animals are trying to say like, like this is the sun and the babies are like, mama. And then like this one is saying, this is a waffle. The monkeys love waffles. And then the monkey baby says, mama. And then the goose was wearing a hat and says hat. And then the goose baby says, mama. Do you love that one? He changed the page. Is this little buddy getting ready for his nap? Don't look at me. I love it when he kicks his little feet. Don't look at me. Kick those little feet. Don't look at me. Yeah. So I just got the video up. There, I'm pointing at the laptop. I just got the video up. This little buddy's gonna go down for a nap, and then we have something fun to show you. Oh yeah, we have something fun to show you, and also I think uh, the new Sony camera is coming today. We have two fun things to show you. Not here yet, though, so I don't... We have Maybe one, one confirmed fun thing to show you. Confirmed? <laughs> yeah. Ah, Florida in the summertime. This is our afternoon storms that we get pretty much every day. But what are you, what are you doing? So, a friend of ours 
um, she makes these. And so uh, actually it was after Bandit passed away, they came and they did some grocery shopping for us to like make our lives a little bit easier. And they bought these for us to make because she was like, I make these and they're so easy and delicious. And they are. So you take these little street taco tortillas, they're like little flour tortillas, and you put, I already started making them so some of them are a little bit done, but you put some marinara and they bought us this marinara. We had never had it before they bought it for us. This is so good. This is like the most delicious marinara that I've ever had. So this tastes like it's less acidic. I don't know, it's just, it's really good. Try it if you want, it's delicious. So It's you, a little bit on the pricey side though. It is expensive, but I feel like it's worth the price because it's so good. And if you can stretch it out, you know, because we're just using it on these little pizzas. So if you can, or they're not pizzas, they're pizza quesadillas. But if you can stretch it out, I think it's worth the price. So then you take some pepperonis. We got some little sliced pepperonis. Deets and Watson. And then you put it on your little sauce. I did like maybe a tablespoon and a half of sauce on each one. And then you just top it with some cheese and then you pop it in the oven on broil and you're done. For how long? How long in the oven? Uh, I don't know, just until the top looks like a little bit crispy. So not, not long at all? No, literally like maybe four minutes, maybe, maybe less than five minutes, I think. Okay. So now that you have your cheese on there, you're gonna top them with another, uh oh, is that the right size? I was trying to find some that were like this similar shape because some of them are like oblong and stuff. There we go. And then we're gonna put them in our oven, which is on the convection broil at 450 in the middle rack, just like that. And then I'll show you when they're done. We did it. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> you did it. Thanks. <laughs> oh, also, bum, 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 bum. Oh yeah, did we tell them? Bum, 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 I don't think so, I think we talked about it in the live show. Yeah, if you guys come to the live show, you'll learn more silly trivia about us. Like, we bought a, we bought a KitchenAid mixer. Um, I'm so excited, you guys. We're gonna make cookies, I think, right? Yeah. Should I open it? Yeah, let's open it. Okay. All right, the baby's waking up, so we're gonna try to do this as quick as we can. Can you pull down on the bottom of the box? <laughs> yeah, teamwork. Oh. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, look at this. So we got the milkshake color. Yeah. Does it say milkshake on it somewhere? No, I just remember because I thought it was a weird name. <laughs> it's the Pro 600 that we got because it was on sale. Yeah, we were able to find it for like, I think it was a little, like a hundred bucks off or more. It was a hundred dollars off. We can make pizza dough, we can make bread dough. That's very exciting. Okay. What's this? Oh, like a pour shield. Ooh. That's pretty nice. That is really nice. Okay, let's see. Here. Easiest way, I gotta do this on the ground, I think. Okay, here we go. Oh no, didn't you need me to pull? Yeah. Oh no. I need two hands. There oh, it goes. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, what was that? That's our, our, our beater paddle thing. Oh jeez. <gasps> wow, it's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Will it fit under the, yeah, it'll fit. This is it. We did it. Oh wait, I gotta check on the pizza. Okay, there was a slight pizza emergency. Uh, it's a little bit, a little bit burnt. They shouldn't be this crispy, but still gonna be delicious. Don't worry guys, still gonna be delicious. Is this the thing, the crank? That's what brings it up and down. Oh wow. <gasps> I'm so excited to use this to make cookies. Yeah. And if you wanna put the, the wire, the wire whisk in, you put it in like this, uh -huh. and then you, Twist it and let it fall back down. Oh, I think the baby's up. Yep, there's the little buddy. He just woke up. Okay. We got the big size because I was like, oh yeah, we need a big size, but I think this might be too big. Oh, do you think? It's pretty big. Oh no. <laughs> the recipe that we make calls for five, it makes five dozen cookies, so I feel like we have to make the whole recipe. Gotta make five dozen cookies now. Cookies. <laughs> this little buddy's awake. Hey, Jackson. What do you think about, oh no, look at his eyes. He's like, what is that? Yeah. What do you think about our new mixer? We're gonna make cookies. You can't eat the cookies. One day you can have cookies. One day cookies will be yours. Yeah. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, I'm excited. Like, this is it, there's a mixer here. Wow. What do you think? Delicious. 
Yeah, even though they're a little bit more done, I think it's better. They're crispy. Well, the bottom part isn't crispy. They're very messy also, so you have to like be careful when you're eating them, but... Well done. <laughs> All right, we just took this little buddy out on a walk before the rain started again, and you're getting your last solid food for the day. He's having some chickpea and some mango. So delicious, huh? Also, I cooked up some ground turkey today, and we have to puree that. Oh yeah, sorry, they're doing the uh, yard outside, but he's gonna get turkey, sweet potato, and cherries, right? Is that what it is? I think it was turkey, sweet potato, and cherries, or turkey, sweet potato, and green beans. I think it was in green beans. But he loves chickpeas and mangoes. You're very adventurous, huh? He loves it. This is kind of an exciting day, so we are introducing ground turkey to Jackson soon. So we're gonna put it in the Nutribullet, or the Vita, what is this called? The Nutribullet. Nutri yeah. And we're gonna do sweet potato, ground turkey, and green beans as a puree. We're gonna pu puree that all up together. And he's gonna have that maybe tomorrow? Maybe. If you introduced meat to your child, when did you do it and how did you do it? What I'm, was the first meat? Yeah, what was the first meat that you introduced? I'm really curious. The, pe sorry, the guy was outside the window doing the yard and I didn't want him to see me vlogging because he'd be like, what are you doing? <laughs> I think we'll do this ground turkey and then maybe like net, we'll get some cod or something like that. Yeah, because the pediatrician said to try fish, so. And yeah. I do, I want to introduce him to fish early on so that he likes fish. Yeah. Unlike me. <laughs> right. Like I wanted to eat fish. I do too, fish is good for you. Yeah. Just wanted to pop on and give you guys a bit of a warning before I show you this pureed turkey because, yeah. So get ready, here it comes, right now. If I told you that was a chocolate milkshake, would you believe me? Or would you think that that was pureed turkey? <laughs> kind of looks like a chocolate milkshake, doesn't it? It's turkey, but it looks like a milkshake. Anything that we feed Jackson, we have to try too. So, here's some, some pureed turkey. I mean, tastes like turkey. Tastes the same as you would imagine. It's not very flavorful because we didn't season with the, season it with anything. I don't know. There you go. Ground turkey pureed. I've eaten it. Look at these little buddies laying down on their tummies together. Look at these little buddies. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? <laughs> Were you just kicking your little feet? Oh no. I'm hungry. Are you hungry, bud? I feel like it's time for you to take your last nap, too. So while Daddy is making dinner, me and the little buddy Jackson are just playing with his toys. <laughs> yeah. We are. Are you just laying back? Just chillaxing? With your weird toy? Oh no, it's Daddy. Oh no. Say, Daddy's eating salad out of your favorite bowl. He loves this red bowl. You see it? Are you farting? Oh, mesmerized. Are you mesmerized by that bowl? Why are you so <gasps> Yummy. Do you want your turtle? You love your turtle. He's like, what is this thing? <laughs> well, I just thought if we used the boppy to help him like prop, like sit him up a little bit better, he wouldn't fall back as much. And then he leans back. Yeah, and he's like, this is my new recliner. I love this. Yeah. What are you doing? He's making like a weird coughing noise. He's just hanging out. Hey, Dad, I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling in the living room. What are you doing? You playing with your toes? Whoa. Was that your Sophie? Here you go, I'll help you. Hey, come on. Oh, 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 you got it. You got it. Look at that big boy. You did it. He loves his piano. This is literally like one of his favorite toys. It was this dang piano. Oh no, where'd your ball go? Your ball rolled away. So some of you were asking where the piano came from and it came with this Baby Einstein like floor activity mat and this piano was attached to it. So that's, it's like part of this set for the floor mat. I'll leave it the Amazon link if I can find it in the description down below, but he loves this now. He's too big for this. He like, when he lays in it, the toys that hang from it are just too close to his face. But um, he loves the piano part. What are you doing, you little silly? What are you doing, silly? This was something that you used to love when you were a little, little baby. Now you're a big boy. Yeah, you're a very big boy. Look at you. 
<laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Trying to figure it out? Yeah. So let me ask you guys a question. You look like a like a coach, like a high school. All right, bring it in, guys. Coach. <laughs> so let me ask you folks a question. What? How? Why is that funny? So we're having hot dogs tonight. Yeah. And oh, but we didn't even tell them why we're having hot dogs. Did you, did you? I know. That's what I said. I was very upset. Our subscription meal service. Yeah, it got damaged in shipping, so they just threw the whole box out and didn't send us anything. Yeah, and they were like, oh, yeah, sorry, um, you don't get any food this week. But we had already gone grocery shopping, and we're trying not to go to the grocery store, like, uh, like just we're just only trying to go when we really need to go. So yeah. we're using all the food we have for dinners, which is not very much food, and it's like hot dogs. So now we're having hot dogs. Whoa, that little baby had a shake. He goes, mmm. Yeah. Were you doing a little dance? But so, <laughs> hot dog buns. Right? Yeah. You know how you get them in like a pack of eight? Yeah. And all of the, there's like a row of four that are all four connected. Mm -hmm. But those four are already cut halfway through. Yeah. So like how are they connected and cut? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. What kind of science? Like what? That's, that's not science, that's like sorcery. Yeah, what kind of sorcery is this? Jackson, do you know? Tell us. Jackson, tell us. Do you know? <laughs> this little buddy. Yeah, I didn't think he would love this thing like he does. He seems to he's love like, being able to throw it around. He's like, I am so strong. <laughs> I am the strongest baby in the world. I was asking that question today. Like, do you think Jackson knows what weight is? Okay, so when you asked me that, I thought you meant like waiting. Like wait to play. Like, like wait, you can't play with this right now. No, like, wait a like I didn't know you meant like weight, like measurement, like the heft of something. So yeah. he's like, you think sometimes he picks stuff up and he's like, oh man, I can't pick this up. And then now he's picking this thing up. He's like, whoa, I'm this huge, the huge thing. I'm picking up like it's nobody. I'm super strong now. Wait, I'm the strongest baby. Um, I feel like he has to have somewhat of an understanding because he knows when he can't pick something up. Right. Yeah. Whoa. But every day he tries to sit up like something changed, like he weighs less. <laughs> so I think he just thinks that he can that he can do it, and that he used to be very very close to sitting up, but he's not quite there. But he's really good at sitting like sitting himself up on like on, not he can't sit up on his own, but he's good at like sitting. Yeah, Does that makes sense. Like, he he can't, he can't go from a laying down position to an upright position by himself. But when you sit him in a sitting up position, he's good at staying in that position. Right. Whoa. Until then. What happened uh. to that babe? Whoa. The dinner of champions. <laughs> Cauliflower and hot dogs. <laughs> well, we had a salad too. And a salad. <laughs> well, we just, when they didn't deliver our meal, we weren't planning on it. So we just, this is like all we have in our freezer was hot dogs and cauliflower. <laughs> Good times. Well, there was another thing of, of vegetables, but I figured because we were having uh, salad too. Well, how's that any different than this? I don't know. These are white. What? <laughs> They're not green like salad. Oh, and the other vegetables were all green. Hmm. <laughs> so here it is. The Sony ZV-1. This is a new camera that we're going to be trying out. It's got a little wind muff that comes included with it, which is nice. Um, you say little, it's humongous. Oh, the wind muff? Yeah. yeah. It's way bigger than the one. <laughs> well, the one that's on the Canon that we're using right now is way old. So. Let me see how light this is. Oh, yeah. You said it was like really light. Yeah, compared to this one? It is really light. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah, the screen flips out to the side, so we could <laughs> put a microphone on top, too. Mm -hmm. um, I like this camera so far. I mean, so, I haven't seen it do anything, but it, it like feels nice. So here's the thing. What I really like about Canons is you can just turn them on right. and then start recording with them. Mm -hmm. There's like zero percent setup. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to try to do with this Sony. There was, I did kind of run through the menus to make sure that there wasn't something weird turned on like what, auto slow shutter. What would you have to set up? Um, with the Sony, usually it's audio. Oh, I see. That okay. I set up and then like the focusing and stuff like that. I went through the menu and all of the focusing stuff is set the way that I would have done it. Okay. And the steady shot set the way that I would have done it. Now the only thing that I'm not sure about is the audio. So when I have a microphone plugged into our other Sony, I talk very loud. 
<laughs> and it peaks out the audio very easily. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that never happens on the Canon is it doesn't peak. Right. I don't know what kind of software they've got in this thing, but I could literally yell as loud as I could and it wouldn't peak the audio on this camera. Huh. So what we're going to do now is we're going to switch over just for one clip. I'm not going to record this whole video on this camera because we'll do that tomorrow after we see the footage. Yeah. Um, but we're going to switch over to the Sony for one clip right now after not doing any settings on it, just turning it on and talking to it. Well, really quick, the first thing that I noticed after really looking at this is that it has a Zeiss lens, which that's the lens that you wanted to buy. I think we did buy a Zeiss lens. Yeah, we have a Zeiss lens. And I was like, why is this so expensive? So, slight caveat. What? Sony likes to put the word Zeiss on all of their lenses. Oh, and it's not really? It's a Zeiss coating. I don't know what that means. It's just like a like a an anti-glare coating on the lens. It's not actual Zeiss glass. Oh. But they like they like rent the name Zeiss. So they're lying. Sort of. They're not totally lying, but they're <laughs> not true thing either. Okay. So all right, let's switch over to the Sony. You're gonna notice color change, real like. I think Sony is more true to life. Yeah, it looked more like the color was more like warm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like the way it's supposed to be. This is very white. Yeah. So there it is. So the only thing that I've noticed so far is like with the Canon, normally we'd be looking up to see like if I'm looking at the, uh, like what's going on. Yeah, the on screen, the, the screen, yeah. I look up there, but with this one I look over here. Oh no. I don't know, but the, the... Well, you shouldn't look at it at all because you're never looking straight at the, the camera lens, which it looks like we're looking away from you. Right. So we, should, we shouldn't look at it. Another thing that I really like about this camera is the um, stabilization. So like, <laughs> I don't know. When I saw the videos of it, it was very much like smooth, like a gimbal almost. Yeah. When you're walking. But our other Sony, the A6600, isn't super smooth. It's not terribly like you know, uh, wiggly. Like, right. But it's it's not... a big camera, it's got a stabilized lens and it's a stabilized body, but it's not, it could go one step further. Yeah. I don't so, know, this looks really nice. I don't know, I am interested to see how this sounds, especially in the difference in volume between you and I. And I'm not going to edit the volume. Right. I'm gonna leave it exactly as it is just right now. Like as it comes out of the camera. For this one clip, and then we'll go back to the normal like audio for the next clip. Unless it does sound totally normal. Yeah. I don't know, looking at the, the like audio meter, it seems like it's doing okay for my voice, but when you talk... It's a, probably pretty quiet. Yeah, it's a lot quieter. Yeah. But I don't know, that's, I mean, that's how you are on the Canon too. Well, no, I never, I never edit my audio on the Canon. Yeah, I know, but like maybe I don't, there's no meter on the Canon that I can see. Mm, I see, okay. So maybe it's just like, that's the way that it is. Well, let us know what you think in the uh, comments down below, because I didn't edit this. Right. So. Let us know how it sounds compared to yeah. the Canon. I think that's going to be my biggest thing mm. about this camera. Back on the Canon, uh, how did it sound? I can already tell that this, like, the coloring is too washed out of this one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you, you think? Go. Yeah, leave a comment down below. Which one do you like better? I think I'm leaning towards the Sony, but I haven't heard the audio yet. Right, and after we hear the audio, we're going to make the decision in the morning as to whether we're going to film the entire video tomorrow with that one or what. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Uh, so we are getting ready to start making cookies now. We've sort of already started. We started like putting things together. Yeah. It's in the new mixer and we're about to like start it. Right. I had to read the instructions. Why? Because I needed to know like what volume, what do you, what do you say, speed? Oh. What speed to put the motor at? 11. I think we gotta go to four. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. What should we name our mixer? Engage. Oh, uh. I don't know, I gotta start it out slow. Ooh, 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 look at it go. Now I gotta bring it up to number four. Oh my. Whoa. Look at it go. Huh, how about that? Smells delicious already. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. it shot some at me. It shot some butter at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think that that's, that's like combined, the, the sugar and the butter. Yeah, and the vanilla, and it only it only spit a little bit of it out. Yeah. Oh, here it is, right here. Should I put it back in? I mean, no. Oh, okay. This is how much it spit out at us. What the heck? You know, the Sony would have focused on that right away. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're adding the dry ingredients. With this like cool thing. Yeah, we have like a little shoot. It makes it really easy. We're doing it. Wow. Look at us go. This is too easy. Right? This is gonna make it, we're just gonna make 
cookies all the time. <laughs> yeah. So sad. So here's the secret to the best chocolate chip cookies you'll ever have. In our opinion. In our, mm -hmm. no, this is a fact. Um, so this recipe calls for a cup and two thirds of chocolate chips. But in order to have the best cookies ever in the world, you're gonna wanna use a cup of these chocolate chips, which are double size, so they're like twice as big chocolate chips, and then two thirds a cup of these teeny tiny chocolate chips. So you're getting the extra chunky chocolate, like you could even use chocolate chunks if you can find them, we just couldn't find them. And then you're also gonna use teeny tiny chocolate chips. So the, just the chocolate, it just, you'll, they're, it's just delicious. I can't even talk, it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so good. And lastly, you're gonna add in your finely crushed pecans. That was just a little bit. I added a whole cup's worth before you, you guys didn't see that part, but I added that in. Yeah, if you're reading the Toll House recipe, it says walnuts or pecans. Get out of here with those walnuts. No, it never said walnuts. We just only had walnuts. No, it says, it says, chop nuts. Oh, it just says like, I think the website that I got the recipe from, because it wasn't the Toll House website, it was just some lady that said that this was her recipe. <laughs> and it wasn't, it was the Toll House recipe. Phoebe's mom? <laughs> no, oh yeah, that's right. Um, but no, so she she said to use pecans, and I was, was like... Was it like, like, buffets, cooking tips? <laughs> I don't know. Right, that was Phoebe's last name, it was Phoebe Buffet, right? It was. Look at you, standing friends. friends. Yeah. But you didn't, you didn't know the episode, uh, you didn't know the, the last question of the game. The, the Chenandler Babong? No, the other one. It was um, tr Transponster. That oh. was my fault. Sorry. The, the uh, Transponster was the the Chandler's job. Yeah. but what that was his actual job? I don't know. I don't think they ever tell you. Do they tell you? All I remember is that everybody was mad at Chandler because he smoked. Oh yeah, I do remember that episode. But yeah. these cookies... They're not gonna smoke. No, hopefully not. <laughs> um, I only say that because our last mixer literally caught on fire the last time we used it. Yeah, we weren't filming when that happened, but this one won't. Hopefully. Right. Goodness gracious. What should we name this? Well, oh, like Mildred. Do you think? Does it have like a cool name, like like Naomi? Naomi. Yeah, Naomi the Mixer. I always really liked the name name Naomi. You did? Just because it sounds like name. <laughs> name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there you go. Naomi the Mixer. Welcome to the family. So while our cookies are cooking... Real quick. What? I just realized we still have that basil hanging right there. Oh, yeah, we never used it. Oh, it's so brittle. Be careful. What do we do with it? Probably throw it out now because the basil plant's doing totally just fine. Okay. That, was... that was just an experiment. Uh, I thought maybe the basil would die and I needed to save that just in case. In case what? In case the basil died. Then we needed that piece to have basil. Well, we did it. Right. So, um, I did clip off the flowers. You guys were, I don't remember if I said this in a vlog or in a live show, but the moral of this vlog is please watch our live shows. Yeah. Because <laughs> I feel like we say so much there. We spend um, an hour like talking to people and it's like, yeah. will you back up a little bit? There's like, Do I have no, the back weird, up. Like, yeah, yeah oh, back, back up. Back up. <laughs> yeah. There you okay, go. Good, okay. Um, we uh, try to do it like in, what, is it just bad? Yeah. Okay. It's, I feel like it's just the lighting in here. Is that better? Yeah, 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 yeah. there you go, okay. Okay. Um, I feel like we try to make them like an hour long so that we, was that the baby? No. Okay. We try to make them an hour long so that they're like rewatchable, so it's not so, so it's not like a three hour long live show that you have to sit through. So anyway. Now I wanted to show you guys, we went on to Box Lunch's website and they were having a sale on baby onesies and well on a bunch of stuff, but baby onesies were part of it. So we got some little Disney themed onesies for Jackson. Look at Piglet down here. What's he doing? He's on top of the balloon. Oh yeah. So this one is a 12 month. This was like 11 bucks, I think. They weren't cheap. They were still kind of expensive, but they weren't like regular price. So that right. was good. So here's this one. A little Winnie the Pooh themed onesie. And then, this one is my favorite. We got a an Aristocats themed onesie. I thought this one was really cute because it's like little music, like the, what do you call that? Uh, clefs? No, like the lines where you like write the music. The music bars? Yeah, and then the cats are like, you know, climbing all in the lines and stuff. Yeah, what are their names? Um. Marie. Yeah. Uh, Toulouse. No, this one's Toulouse. 
Okay. And then, what's his name? Berlioz? Ber Is that his name? You don't even know his name. I don't know, no. <laughs> oh. It's like Ber Berlioz. <laughs> and then we also got this one that was so fun. See, this one was kind of like flower and garden themed, I thought, because it has like the little Mickey. Yeah, this is brilliant. I thought this one was so super cute. And then this one I'm so excited for. It is, the force is strong with this child, and then it has a little hood with Yoda ears. Oh uh, yeah, look at that. Look how fun this is gonna be. This is a 12 month, so I mean, he probably won't fit into it quite yet. I mean, but it's, he's not far off from this size. He's a big boy. But I thought this one was so super cute. It was 15 bucks on sale. So, yay. And there's another one coming that's actually Harry Potter themed. But that one's not coming until the middle of August. Yeah. I don't know why. But Harry these... Potter's Harry Potter's very public popular. Harry Potter Harry Potter. Harry Potter pop, pop, pop. So did you just fart? <laughs> no. I've been holding it in that whole time. I'm leaving this in. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's so funny. So we just had our nine year wedding anniversary, um, what, like two days ago? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We didn't celebrate it. We forgot about it. You guys reminded us of it. But I think that that's something that, um, that's how you know that you're meant to be, is that you forget when you got married and your farts are really funny. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh yeah, they are. You think? Yep. Okay. You know how I can tell? How? They're starting to brown just on the edges. That's how you know a cookie's done. And then you're supposed to let it sit here for two minutes. On the, on the thing? On the pan. Okay. Then pop it off. Okay, well these are gonna be so good. I can already yeah. tell. Oh, they look awesome. Yeah, so we're gonna wait a couple of minutes. Let them like cool a little bit. I almost said cool, but like not fake cool. Like you want them to cool. Yeah. Not like cool. Yeah. What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, All right. Cookies. <laughs> Ooh, how's it going? How many cookies do we have so far? Oh my gosh, literally like 79 hours later, we're still making cookies. Yeah, but they're um, looking good. I have the last batch is cooking right now. And I'm so, it's literally like almost 11 o'clock at night. It's 10.30. Whoa. That's late. So. I mean, um, is it too late to eat cookies? No, you can eat cookies. Yeah. I have two and a half dozen here. Those are cooling. And then I have another like 10 cookies cooking. Wow. I know. What are we gonna do with all these cookies? Eat them? Wee hoo! That's my, my like, how I'm gonna end the day. Just like a wee -hoo. It definitely was like, I feel like we did so much today, but really we well, didn't. We didn't do anything. No, I mean we, I, well we did though. We did do, didn't we? I mean we filmed like, uh, like an hour. Did we? That was a lot, it was like 40 minutes. Sorry if this is a really long video. I don't know when. I, know. I have no idea when we filmed all this, like, I don't know where that I went, what, what? I do know that we made five dozen cookies, and we probably ate three dozen of them. Yeah. So, um, all in all though, it was a really good day. Jackson was super cute as always. We got his super fun Disney outfits. We got, oh, cookies are ready. We haven't done a home vlog in a little bit, so it was like just nice to kind of like hang out with you guys and to like hang out with the baby and. Yeah. It was I don't a good know. day. We did, yeah. We got our mixer, which I love the mixer. I don't love that it is so easy. I mean, I do love that it's so easy to like make stuff, but it's like too easy to make five dozen cookies. Right. So uh, I don't know if the mixer was a great idea. We had hot dogs. I, don't oh, know. I forgot about the hot dogs. Did we show them the hot dogs? Yeah. Oh, we did a lot of stuff today. And cauliflower. Yeah. Hot dogs and cauliflower. <laughs> um, so, uh, but I did want to mention really quick. So with the end of the videos, for the last few weeks, we've been doing this um, where we, we put a spotlight on an organization that just needs to have more eyes on it. And we feel like maybe you might wanna check out and just to kind of give them like a signal boost. And we've gotten some comments saying, how do you guys expect us to donate to all of these charities, all of right. these organizations? And I just wanted to say, we don't expect you to donate to all of them. That's not why we are doing this. We, I mean, we are, that is, I would like for people to donate to these charities and these organizations because we do want to help them out, but we don't expect you to donate to every single one of them. What we do hope happens is that you see one or a couple that you really have like a connection to. Right. Something that speaks to you. Yeah. And something that you're like, oh, like, uh, 
that's that's me like that's that's my personality yeah like i want to give them you know a, a, a little bit of money if i can yeah. um or just share the link with people if i can so we definitely don't expect you to donate to every organization but we aren't going to stop doing the shout out at the end right so long story short we are going to continue to shine a spotlight on these organizations at the end of the video because we appreciate the work that they're doing yeah they're doing really great work yeah. so so all in all it was a fantastic day yeah. and with that being said we are off we'll see you guys tomorrow and now it's time to help and so today's organization is black girls code i'm going to read from their website because i just want to make sure i get all the information correct but their vision is to increase the number of women of color in the digital space by empowering girls of color ages 7 to 17 to become innovators in the stem fields uh, leaders in their communities and builders of their own futures through exposure to computer science and technology. Yeah. So this is like a really awesome organization. We hope that you guys will check out the link down below, um, share it with your friends and family, talk about it. Uh, definitely just check out the link. Just checking out the link really helps. If you can donate, that would be awesome too. But the link will be down below for you guys to check it out. Yeah, thanks so, for watching the video. Yeah, thanks for hanging out with us today.